we have a short horror film called Story Time. Don't worry about my heart rate saying zero. We about to we about to set the heart, heart rate up right now. Cause yeah, we not dead. We for, we right here. We gonna lock in. We go watch this. We're not gonna get scared. We actually go calm down. You feel me? We ain't even go like our heart rate go drop under 80 and then we go be chill. All right, so it look good and it sound crazy. I right, bet. Here we go, y'all. We at 70. Let's go. The Short Frights Podcast presents. Oh my goodness. Poppy's story. Written by R.M. Lyle. <laughs> Stories take time to sink their teeth into <laughs> us. I could tell you now how this one ends. But it wouldn't have the same impact. Not yet, anyway. Alright, bro. We listening to a fucking podcast? We listening to... Do anybody in here... Do anybody listen to, like, horror podcasts? Like, story time things? I wouldn't be able to... I ain't gonna lie. I wouldn't be able to do it, bro. But I, I can't really judge it, though, because I kind of feel like... I'm going to stop pausing, but I, ca I can't really judge it because I low-key feel like once you start listening to it, you ain't going to be able to stop. You feel me? Like You'll be like, it's like a little too interesting, but it's scary as fuck. Nah, this does look visually good, though. It's not until you see yourself in the story, until it feels real, that you become truly invested. Don't get too invested. Don't get this too was invested. This Poppy had to keep in mind. Okay. She was a hospice worker, which required a certain level of detachment to protect yeah, this herself from the pain yeah. of her nah. patient's inevitable what? We not pussy or nothing. However, Poppy couldn't wait for Mr. Cresswell to die. What? His coughing fits unsettled her. What? His delusions drove her mad. And now, as she prepared to sew up a tear in his nightgown, she wished more than ever for his swift demise. What the fuck is we Poppy listening to? Poppy opened a drawer to What's retrieve wrong with Poppy? and felt a chill What's wrong in the with air. Her? Why, oh why, did Mr. Cresswell insist? Wait, what is that? What are we saying at? On leaving the windows open. Distracted, Poppy's hand slipped. Is he describing her? She pricked herself with the needle and watched as a spot of blood bloomed on Mr. Cresswell's gown. Then, from the other room, she thought she heard something. One of Don't Mr. let them Cresswell's Don't not let them pop out. If some pop out, it's gonna fuck me up. I just know this. She listened carefully. It switched. She took a headphone out and it switched to just one ear. Oh shit. There it was again. I ain't hear nothing the first time. Poppy didn't want to. But she knew she should check to see if he was okay. No, we don't. Yeah, I'm glad she bring the knife though. Yeah, bring the knife. The floorboards creaked beneath her feet as she approached the room. As usual, it looked like somebody there. Lay her. Mr. Cresswell. It looked like it's somebody in that bed. Under the covers of his bed. Oh my goodness. He was so weak. It's no way this nigga like whoever, if whoever it is, like they hear you, like, <laughs> like they hear you. Your fucking house is a hundred years old. Do you hear the wood underneath your feet? <laughs> Do you, you don't hear that fucking foot <laughs> underneath your feet crackling? It sometimes looked as though he were dead already. But no, he was still very much alive. Get the fuck out of here. Don't open the door. Mr. Cresswell rasped, 
Something outside wants to What the us. fuck? Please, don't leave me. Don't let it in. Bitch, why is we still here? Oh my motherfucking goodness. Oh my goodness, no run, bitch! Run. run! Stay with me. You gonna lock yourself in the bathroom? Oh, she could hear oh, Mr. Cresswell pleading with her through the door. Don't Why leave. Do you... Please, Poppy, I need you. You don't even know how to open a window. Mr. Cresswell. You don't even know how to open a window. From the bed. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Stab this nigga as soon as he get in. Coming to find her. Just get ready to stab him. Coming to stop her from leaving. Coming to keep her. To let her know just how badly he needed her. To teach her that there would be consequences. Bitch, why aren't you still listening to the podcast? Thank you. What was he about to say though? To ever disappoint him like that. Teach her that there would be consequences if she were to ever disappoint him like this. He about to break that bitch down. He about to break that bitch down and pack her up. Listen to that old ass wood. But you want to listen to a pod? You bitch, you want to listen to a podcast so fucking bad? Why the fuck you want to listen to this podcast so bad? She pissing me off, dog. Why do you want to listen to this podcast so bad? Mr. Cresswell was just outside the door. And you didn't even lock the door. Oh, bitch. He's still in the sheet. Get up. Stood there. Get up. I'm moving. He about to, I know he, I know he about to, I know he about to, oh, no. What is you going to do like this in now this position? Now our story is coming to a close. Oh, my goodness gracious. And dear Poppy is out of time. The Short Frights Podcast presents Poppy's Story, mm. written by R. M. Oh. Stories take time to sink their teeth into us. Oh. I could tell you now how this one ends. Don't you want to know how it ends, Poppy? Yeah, this is different now. I'll show you. I'll show you all oh, these niggas. Mr. Cresswell took her wow. delicate face and slammed it into the ground over and over until the floorboard splintered. Mm. He thrashed her about the room mm. until her body was mangled and bent Ugh. until she was nearly unrecognizable. And so ended Poppy's story. Damn, I ain't gonna lie, that shit was good. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, that was good. That was good. That's crazy. That was fire. She was pissing me the fuck off, though. Because, bitch, why the fuck would you go in a bathroom? Don't even know how to open up your own window. How long have you been living here? Your fucking old ass wooden floor is 100 years old. And then you inside the tub talking about. What is, what is you gonna do there? Like, hello? What is, what is that gonna do? Key go look at the phone before the last scene. Before it, it, it texts her. Let's see. I'll show you. That's attention to detail. That's attention to detail. I like that. These niggas fast forwarded the phone before it attacked. <laughs> Hey, that's fire. Hey, nah, this is W. What? Seven days ago? Wow. 
Yeah, that was good. Can you can hey Dylan Clark? Can you start making movies, please? Cause the horror community needs somebody who make a who can make something good, bro. Please. Oh my goodness. This seven minutes right here. Just multiply that by ten. Just, just yeah, just multiply by ten. Give us a solid seventy minutes. We'll have a good horror movie. I feel like make make this. I don't know. Make make a couple of them, please. Portrait of God. All right, we, let's watch that one too. W. That was uh. That was uh. Yeah. That was story time. Cool.